this video, you're going to separate this lamb and the lion image in split view mode in each steps. When you have a landscape image, your split view mode will be the original on top and the preview on the bottom. I'll start with the colors I know I don't have because if I go to the channels view and I turn off the black, I can see there's just cyan and blue in here. But there's also black. And we're going to get rid of that black in this process because I really don't want to print the contrast of the black against the blue. It's kind of hard when you're dealing with these light colors. And black has a lot of contrast, especially if you have dot gain. I'll turn that off, go back to the split view, go to the magenta, there's none of that, we'll delete that. Go to the green, delete that. The yellow, delete that. The red, delete that. Now here we're going to go to the black. I'm going to change that to Azure. I'm going to come down here into a dark mid-tone of the Azure. Then we're going to look at the original, and we can see that. Now we're printing a kind of dark gray Azure tone for our black against our blue. Now, if I want to go to my black again and look at my color density, I can see it's very light. I might want to change that. So I'll go to the saturation, bring that up a little bit for some better half toning. Maybe even a slight adjustment down here in the tone curve, but not too much. I'm going to go back to my original. I can see how that affected that down here. Go back to the black, and I'll bring this dark tone of the azure that's down in the grays and bring that up and lighten it a bit because of that adjustment. Then I'll go to my original. And we see we're practically dead on here. Now I'm going to go to the blue and I'm going to take a look at my color density. It's very light, going to be small half tones. I'm going to bring the saturation up on that. I'm going to bring the tone curve up also, but not too far. I might bring the saturation up a little bit further. Just enough so that we get some bigger half tones to print with in our screen printing process. And then I'm going to change this to a tint to adjust for the extra saturation that I brought in. Then we'll look at our original. And you can see that our blue is pretty strong, but that's because we made that adjustment down here. And that's our original, but we're still very close. But let's go to the cyan now. And we'll look at the density there. And we see that's very low density, so we'll just bring some saturation up there. Bring a little tone curve in there. And then we'll change this also to a tint. Take a look at our original. And we can see that we're absolutely very, very close. We're not going to be printing black, and we're only dealing with three colors. The cyan custom color, the blue custom color, and now the black, which is an azure mid-tone custom color. And we can zoom in and see how close we are. We are very, very close with just three colors on press. Once again, here your interlocking will be very important. And there are articles on the Inkseps website about halftone printing for simulated process and also the interlocking process. And we can see that the color of the blue is much smoother here going with the azure gray mid-tone as opposed to the black that's in the image. It's much more smoother. So that's how I'd separate that image, working in incepts, working with the cyan, the blue, and the black, and the custom black, instead of printing the black against the light colors of the blue. And the logic for the custom color in the black is because we're dealing with light blue, cyan, and white here. And when you're printing with black, if you've got dot gain, the fact is black has a lot of contrast against white and light colors, but if you're printing the custom Azure as the midtone into the grays, you're not going to get all that contrast that you'd have with the black. And if you've got some dot gain, it won't affect the print as much. And that's how I would separate this for screen printing as three colors. Once again, interlocking is very important. You can go on our website and read the articles on halftone for screen printing and interlocking, etc. All the information is there. But that's how I'd separate this image in inkseps and get down to just three colors and white. Now, of course, the colors, because we've gone to all custom colors here, there's no black in here. 
So go ahead and wrap here, and we'll see you in our next video.